Al the world is high on the festivities to welcome the new year in Syria what is known as world heritage city Aleppo is struggling to come back to life here's a story of resilience hope from the city that bears the scars of war and destruction it's that time of the year when the whole world is immersed in festivities after all it's Christmas there is laughter joy and celebrations all around everyone coming together to welcome the new year with new joy renewed hope and new dreams but in this part of the world there's destruction and stench of death this is Syria's ancient city of Aleppo the front line of the battle between government troops in the city's west and rebels in the east for four long years and in Aleppo is Khan al Ahrir once a vibrant and thriving marketplace. Today, it stands as a testimony to the destruction that the region has witnessed during the Syrian civil war. But amid the bombed out streets of the market, there's a solitary shop selling tablecloths. Meet 62-year-old Mohammad Shawash, the face of resilience, the face of hope. I am the one who built it and restored it all, and I haven't died. God willing, this area won't die. It will be revived and our children will come back. They will be the ones to rebuild and restore. And if I still have breath in my body, I will return and build it with them. Shawash managed a shop in what used to be the world's largest market, before the war in Syria broke out. Everyone used to come to the old city, men, women, young and old. We would be at work from 7 in the morning until 1 at night, moving goods in and out. The work was very different from how it is now. You couldn't set your feet on the ground, there were so many people. Amid smashed concrete and debris-laden roads, Mohammad Shawash has partly restored storefront stands. For a week, he piled bricks, cement and stone in a small wheelbarrow and navigated it through the ravaged streets to repair his shop by hand. The bombed-out streets of the market are now home to Shawash's solitary shop selling tablecloths. Me, a 62-year-old man, filled a cart with bricks and carried them here from outside the old city and spent a week bringing bricks and cement this way to rebuild the walls so I could paint them. But with the dearth of customers, Shawash barely makes enough to buy a falafel sandwich. It's not about a monetary loss or losing products. I lost my neighbors. I lost the people around me. When I came, I cried. Not on the outside, but within. When a human cries, he cries from within, his heart. Bureau Report, We On.